everyone and welcome back to Morgborg Tech. This is part 3 of my January 2021 phone collection. So, let's continue. Here's my Kyocera Milan on US Cellular. This one I got in the phone lot. It's untested. Here's two LG Envies on Verizon. I got both of these at the recycling center probably about a year ago at this point. They both work, but they just need batteries. Here's my Samsung Sway on Verizon. This works, but just needs a battery. Here's my LG 1010 on US, or not US Cellular, it's on Sprint, untested. Here's my Kyocera Wildcard on Virgin Mobile. I got this in the phone lot. It's untested. Here I have three LG MV3s on Verizon. This one here I got pretty recently. It has an insanely scratched front screen here. This one I've had for over four years. This one works, but I don't have a compatible battery for it. And then this one I've had for about four years as well. This one also works. Here's my here's one of my BlackBerry Curves. I forgot the model of this one. This is a 9370 on Verizon. It's untested. And here's another BlackBerry Curve. I think this is the 8530 on Verizon. Yeah, 8530. Here's my Nokia 8270 on Cricut. This one is untested. Here's my AudioVox CDM9000. I don't know what carrier this is on, but it only works on the charger. Here's my Alcatel Big Easy Flip on track phone. This one's untested. Here's my Samsung Stunt on Cricut. I don't think this one has a battery. No, it doesn't. Here's my BlackBerry Bold 9000 on AT&T. This one works, but it has no batteries. It's dead. Here's another phone I've gotten pretty recently. This is the Samsung Restore, I think it's called, on Virgin Mobile. This one works totally fine, and it's in basically mint condition apart from a few scuffs. Here's another phone lot. Piece. This is a, the CR108, just some generic phone. I have no idea if this works. Here's my Samsung Reclaim on Sprint. I've had this for about three years. It works. Here's my Motorola WX416 on Consumer Cellular. This one works. I've had it for over four years. Here's my Samsung SCH A850 on Verizon. This one's untested. Here's my Samsung Character on US Cellular. I got this in the phone lot as well. Works totally fine. Here's my Nokia 6016i on Sprint. This one works but has no battery. Here's my Nokia 2285 on track phone. This works as well but has no battery in it. Here's my Samsung Trance on Verizon. This works totally fine. Here's my Casio G's One Boulder. Also on Verizon, this works as well. Here's my Nokia 1661 on T-Mobile. This works fine, but has no battery in it. Here's two Samsung Gusto 2s on Verizon. They both work, but I think only this one has a battery in it. Yeah, this one has no battery. Here's a phone I've gotten recently as well. This is an LG Cosmos 2 on Verizon. So now I have the Cosmos and the Cosmos 2, but not the Cosmos 3. This one works, of course. Here's my Motorola i730 on Nextel. This one is untested. Here's my Motorola i90C, also on Nextel. This one's untested. I had to take off the antenna because it wouldn't stay in. And something about this LG Cosmos 2 here is that it uses the same battery as the LG Exalt. 
Here's my Nokia 3585i. I don't know what carrier it's on, but I got it in the phone lot. It has this custom housing on it. It's untested. Here's my LG Revere 3 on Verizon. This one works. Here's my Kyocera Domino on Cricut. I got this one in the phone lot as well. It's untested. Here's my Alcatel Go Flip on Consumer Cellular. This one works, and I've gotten it in the last year. I think specifically I got it in February 2020. Here's my Motorola V265. I forgot what carrier this is on, but it's untested. Here's my Samsung T105G on track phone. This one works. Here's my Nokia N75 on AT&T. It works fine, but you have to hold it upright in order for it to turn on. Because if I do this, the battery disconnects. Because this back cover here is incredibly loose. As you can see, I can just lift it up and it comes out. Here's my Sanyo Katana on Quest. This one here works, but it doesn't have a battery. Here's my BlackBerry Pearl 8100 on AT&T. I've had this one since August of 2016. When I got it, it had a bloated battery, if I remember correctly, so I had to throw it out. So this has no battery, and I don't know if it works. Here's my LG PM225 on Sprint. This one works. Here's my LG 200C on track phone. This one works as well. Here's three Motorola Razr V3s. These first two are on T-Mobile, and the last one is on US Cellular. I don't think this one has a charged battery in it. Oh, it actually does. Then this one here has no battery in it. Here's my LG 329G on track phone. This was my grandma's old, old phone before she got the Aristo because the Aristo is what replaced this here. And I've had this phone since August of 2017. Moving on, here's my BlackBerry Bold 9650, I think it is. It works, but it's dead. Let's see if I was correct. Yeah, that's the 9650. Here's the Nokia 6030 on T-Mobile. I got this at the recycling center. Works totally fine. Here's two Samsung S125Gs on track phone. They both work, but this one here has no battery in it. And this one does. Here's my Samsung Comment on Cricut. This one works. Here's my Sony Ericsson Z750A on AT&T. It works. Here's my LG 440G on track phone. This one works. Here's my Nokia 5185i on Altel. This one works but doesn't have a battery in it. Here's my LG C1300i on Singular. It works, but some of the buttons don't. Here's my Samsung Comment 2 on Cricut. I got this one brand new on eBay in its original box sealed for, I think, $18, I want to say. Correct me if I'm wrong. Here's my Sanyo VI2300 on Sprint. I got this one for $15, brand new in its box. And then here's my Motorola Renegade V950 on Sprint. I also got this brand new in its box. This one cost me about $17. And that's all my phones. So now, let's unlock them here. As you can see, my custom wallpaper, I think it looks very nice.
Not all of them have it. Again, these two here on iOS 4.2.6. And then here's my inverted wallpaper here. White background, black text, and then here is black background and white text. Let me know what you think of my custom wallpapers. I made them using MS Paint on Windows. All right, I think this one here is dead. Hmm, it restarted. Weird. This one here has a passcode, so let me enter that in real fast. Of course, this doesn't have any of my MorgBorg customizations, so because this is my personal phone, along with my S8 Plus, because that's my media device and camera, which I use for some of my videos.
this one died. So, that's my phone collection as of January 2021. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And as always, peace.